general, there's been, well, there's so much marketing around the cost being cheaper than on-prem. In our conversation with customers, we've, we've actually found that that's not true. Your cost improvement or not is actually relying a lot on how good or bad are your uh, actual data centers managed today. If you're moving from a legacy data center or a, s- a small facility, you know, not very well managed, you know, l- a lot of legacy components, you actually may get some savings moving to the cloud, just migrating, lifting and shifting. However, if you're running a state of the art, you know, private cloud kind of data center uh, run with, with a, a, you know, cost in mind, it's actually gonna be very, very difficult that you obtain any savings just by doing, just by doing lift and shift. And this has happened a lot to enterprise customers, mature customers, were trying to find sweet spots for cloud migration. We always said that modernization is a continuous discipline. Cloud migration is a continuous discipline. And that has to be driven by cost. You need a very, very strong FinOps discipline when building your cloud center of excellence. That would be the first thing I do when I move my first app to the cloud. I will start measuring how that application is actually behaving. There are so many things that you can do just mastering FinOps and infrastructure to optimize cost. That's typically called by hyperscalers the, the optimized lift and shift. Typically, you can, you can reduce cost by you know, something like 20% just by optimizing your infrastructure operations in the cloud. However, very tricky to move farther than that. In order to obtain a more savings, you need to do things like counterization. You need to move to, the, to a pass environment, to a shared services environment. And, and in order to do that, you need to use techniques like auto counterization, for example, or you actually need to transform the app through application modernization to be able to make it.